New details in a developing story. Overnight, police increased the number of people hurt in a shooting near Georgia State University to four. Now, we first took you to the scene on Forsyth and Poplar Streets on Channel 2 Action News Nightbeat at 11. Channel 2's Darren Moore is live in downtown Atlanta. And Darren, police told you the shooter is now in custody. Linda, he was one of four people shot in that gun battle that actually shattered the windows that's now boarded up here at the JR Crickets. Police said it was an argument that ended in gunfire out here on the street. Overnight workers used plywood to cover up the shot out windows at the JR Crickets and the downtown eye care office on Forsyth Street and swept up the shattered glass on the sidewalk. Police told us four people were shot in a shootout last night that started as an argument inside the restaurant and ended up outside. So what sounded like automatic gunfire, two rapid bursts, uh, saw people starting to run. Investigators said one person pulled out a gun and shot three people. Two of the victims also had guns and fired back, hitting the suspect. This doesn't appear at this time to be a random act. Looks like they did know each other. After the bullet stopped flying, we saw several bullet holes in the window, and the windows of this parked car were also shot out. Residents who live above the restaurant in the Healy building were furious. Shot up my building here, JR Crickets. According to the police, it's so far, four people shot, several, several people shot multiple times. So this is outrageous, and it has to stop. And police told us they recovered three guns, but everyone involved suffered non-life-threatening injuries. But, of course, we'll check in with Atlanta police throughout the day to see if they have a motive behind this shooting and bring you any new updates on WSBTV.com and also at Channel 2 Action News at noon and 4.